Hi reception, it's Mrs Keeble back again. I hope you're keeping safe and well at home and enjoying some nice sunshine again after all that rain we had last week. I'm back to read you another story today and the one I've chosen is about a superhero but it's a superhero with a bit of a difference because he's a potato. Some of you might have read this story before. It's called Super Tato and it's by Sue Hendra and Paul Lynette. So you're sitting comfortably and I'll begin. Some vegetables are frozen for a very good reason. Don't believe me? Then keep reading. It was night time in the supermarket and all was quiet. But crash, bang, something had escaped from the freezer. Something small and round and green. Something looking for trouble. Big trouble. Help, help, cried Carrot. I'm stuck to the conveyor belt. Ah, cried Broccoli. Someone's drawn on my face. <coughs> cried Cucumber. Who was doing this? And was there anyone who could help these vegetables in distress? Soup potato to the rescue! He used his super speed. He used his super strength. He used a flannel and some soapy water. I know who's behind this, said Soup potato. There's a pea on the loose. Oh no! <gasps> Not a pea! Everyone gasped. Yes, a pea. But I'm out of the freezer now and I'm never going back. Mwah, ah, 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 ah. And the evil pea ran off to commit more terrible crimes. Time for a dip, little veggies. That's enough, shouted Sue Potato. He leapt towards the pea, but the pea popped out of his hands and vanished into thin air. Sue Potato set out on a super search. He crept through the cakes, checked the cheese and snuck up on the beans. Then something caught his eye. Mm, what do you think it is? The game's up, yelled Sue Potato. Kapow! But the pea bounced out of reach and onto a trolley. Sue Potato was just about to stop him with his super strength when the trolley crashed and he was thrown down into the icy depths of the freezer. Was this the end for Sue Potato? <gasps> Not quite, but the pea was off his trolley and lying in wait. You're finished, Sue Potato, he shrieked, but Sue Potato summoned up his strength and ran for it. The pea nearly had him at the beans and closed in on him at the cheese. He had him cornered at the cakes. So much for soup potato, screeched the pea. You're about to be mashed potato. Surely this was the end for soup potato. Not today, my friend, said soup potato. Gotcha. Hmm, <coughs> said the pea. Squelch. Oh yes, said soup potato. I set my trap and you fell for it. Or should that be in it? And he grinned a super grin. And there's Evil P trapped in the jelly. What a good plan. Sue Potato had saved the day. Take him away, he said. And the P was marched back to the freezer where he belonged. This jelly tastes of peas, said Broccoli. And everybody laughed and cheered. So... Remember, folks, some vegetables are frozen for a very good reason. Maybe you'd better go and check your freezer. Just in case there's an SKP in your house. And there's soup potato with the vegetables. That's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it. So much so, in fact, it's inspired me to do something a little bit creative at my house and I have been busy this morning making my very own 
soup potato. I wondered if I could set you a challenge. I used a big baked potato that I had in my fridge. I wonder if I could challenge you to make your own version of soup potato using things that you have in your house. So maybe ask your parents or carers if you've got an old potato in your fridge that you could use or in your cupboards and see if you've got any crafty bits that you could use around your house or even you could colour in or you could use bits of tissue paper like I've used here to make your own version. I wonder if you could do that and perhaps you could send me pictures of your finished soup potatoes. I'd love to see them and put them up in the gallery. Amazing. Okay, reception, that's all from me. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.